As a profiler, I believe the crime scene can tell me everything I need to ID the offender. The evidence shows we're dealing with we call, let me do it again, what we call, go slower too. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. As a profiler, I believe the crime scene can tell me everything I need to ID the offender. The evidence shows we're dealing with what we call a disorganized killer. He didn't plan on killing her. He saw an opportunity and gave in to his vicious desire. Once we had a body to deal with, he just stashed it as quickly as he could, which indicates he was probably under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Let me do it again, because I, I added something on and I, early on it, was, it wasn't right. See, by taking that break, I cooled off. I got Okay. <clears throat> As a profiler, I believe the crime scene can tell me everything I need to ID the offender. The evidence shows we're dealing with what we call a disorganized killer. He didn't plan on killing her. He saw an opportunity and gave in to his vicious desire. Once he had a body to deal with, he just stashed it as quickly as he could, which indicates he was probably under the influence of drugs and alcohol. This is how I would create the profile of an unknown subject if police found a body and didn't have a suspect. But in Carol Rudd's case, investigators already had their guy, Joseph Condro. That wasn't good. I gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. You weren't the only one. <laughs>